subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos hi friend this is mandeep and you are watching high technology tv in this video we are going to talk about auditing feature of sap hana and how to enable a auditing policy in sap hana so right now we are into sap hana studio administration console and we are connected to our system db with system database user so let's expand security and click on security here our first step is auditing and right now our auditing status is disabled okay let's talk about what is auditing in sap hana auditing feature of sap hana database allow us to monitor and record selected action performed in our system in simple word it provide you the facility who did what and who try to do what and when so here as you can see that we have a option of audit trail target audit trail target is basically our destination where our audit trail is saved audit trails is basically the entries which are created in one or more audit trails when our audit policy is triggered so let's enable our auditing feature and let's create a audit policy so to enable it just select it from here and select the enabled feature and in our audit trail target we have different audit trail target one of them is syslog that is by default chosen second one is csv and third one is database table so here i am selecting database table and these are our audit level audit level trail targets these are audit levels one of them is emergency second one is alert and third one is critical so in any case of audit level our audit tra uh, trail target will be these so to create a audit policy just click on the plus button here and here we have to provide the our policy name and then we have to create our policy so here we are taking the example that we have a table name of products on which we want to see that uh, who user uh, which user is try to access or uh, try to read that particular table and on what time so let's create a policy and we are giving it name read access products and our policy status is enabled if you want to disable it you can disable it by here and our audited action is just click on this and here we are going to select the select feature here we have different options like data definition in data definition we can choose any of any one of them like if we want to audit our create index then we can choose it but here we are going the read access going it with read access so expand data query and manipulation select here and click ok and our audited action status that when our audit policy will be triggered and on what case it will be saved so we are selecting the all that in successful or unsuccessful our audit trail will be written in our audit log and audit level is here we want to choose it just info and on the user part if you want to include any of the selected user you can include it by selecting this and if you want to exclude a selected user from this policy you can exclude so here i'm just leaving it blank on the target object 
just click on the browse button and here you have our target of objects let's search it from here 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 we have a table name of products and the schema for that is high technology so just select it and click on the add and press the ok button and now select our audit trail target and our audit trail target will be database table just click on ok and when all these things will be done just click on the deploy or f8 button okay our audit configuration is changed so now let's select a command so let's fire a command with our select query select star from high technology dot products and now execute it as you can see that we do not have any data in our table so it's blank so now see that it will be returned in our audit log or not so to select that let's fire a command with our select query select star from public dot audit underscore log so this is our table name where our audit entries will be saved and schema for that is public so just execute it and it will show the result and today is our date of august 24 and time is right now our time is 5 25 and our query is fired at 524 and 16 second and it is fired by system user okay fine here you can see it and application name is our hana studio and this is our policy name read access products and event is successful our query is fired successfully so it is showing successful and our info event level is info information as we selected and schema is high technology and object name is products and in our statement string you are able to see that select star from high technology dot product it is showing us the full sql query so by this way we can create a audit policy in our sap hana and how we can see our results so okay friend thank you for watching please like share subscribe my channel have a nice day